Welcome back. We're in the barn. We got some slight robot issues here. I'm not sure what's going on yet, but Robot 4 called me. Too many filled milkings in a row, so we're off to go check that out. 5592 wants to say hi. So either it seems like when there's too many failed milkings in a row, it's either very complicated or very simple. So looking at this right now, it looks like it might be simple, but that's not always the case. So we're gonna give this a quick wash down and then we're gonna look into it a little further. So first thing I wanna do, I wanna hit them three lines. I wanna go to tests, robot arm, and then service three is just what we got it set at. That's the one we like to work at. Then we're gonna move the robot arm. That's gonna bring it into a better position to look at it and work on it if we need to. And now we're gonna rinse her off. After we turn the water on, of course. So on these Lely A5s, the A4s are the same, I believe. There's these strings. These are what keep your cups tight so that they go on to the cow straight. And um, a lot of times when you have failed milkings, the, usually this string is broken, but all these strings are tight. Even if they're loose, they can wiggle around a little bit, not connect good. So um, usually the next thing that happens, if it's not a string, is there's a pulsation tube and then there's a vacuum tube or I guess a tube that brings the milk out I don't know if it's considered the vacuum tube but anyways they're um, connected underneath there to a secondary tube and sometimes that comes apart and then you lose your section your suction and pulsation and that will cause cows to fail milking as well so to check the vacuum and pulsation is pretty easy actually you go to vacuum pump and you, you turn it on and then you can go over here and you can feel the vacuum in each one and then we see that vacuum is working there so now you can turn the vacuum pump off now we're going to want to go to pulsator controls and then we can turn them on I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, and I'll actually set you over here. Or you can probably hear it right now. So you can hear that the left rear is working. Now we have the right rear that is also working. The right front. And the left front. So everything I see here, everything is working, so now Next step, I'm going to let a cow in here and see what it does. Letting in a cow is just as easy as just putting it back in operation. The robot knows what to do and it'll set itself back up. Now we just patiently wait for this cow to walk in. She's going to do it all on her own too. Because they love getting milked. Hopefully she has to get milk. Looks like she's got a good bag on her. So first up here, this is a great example of how this is exactly supposed to work. <laughs> but um, so first we're doing a pre-treatment here. <clears throat> For our pre-treatment, we're using a chlorine dioxide mix. has been sprayed onto the brushes before the prep. And another rinse. This cow is just standing a little bit forward for the robot here. So it does look like this is a three titter for left rear, no longer produces milk. That could have been from the beginning, 
could have come from issues all the way back when she was a young heifer and there could have been sucking issues in the younger pens. Here's the robot going to connect here. She's a little bit of an ansier heifer here. Trust me, they're not all this bad. All right, so we're milking this cow. So now that we got our cow milking here, she's doing great. She's finally standing still. She was a bit of a rough one going in here. It doesn't help that she was missing a tit either. I think that makes her quarter a little bit more uneven. Her bag's a little more uneven. Makes it harder for the robot to attach. But looking at her cow info here, um, she is an 87.1 pound per day milking average over her entire lactation so far. She's a first lactation cow, 96 days fresh. She's been inseminated. I don't know if it's her, I would, that had to have been her first service. So she's been bred once, she's 20 days inseminated and hopefully pregnant, but that is not confirmed. So you can see her in milk interval here. So she, last time she was at the robot getting milk was eight hours and 35 minutes ago. And she's got one refusal today. So the refusals mean that she came to the robot, but she didn't get milk. She wasn't long enough. So she might have been in the robot four hours ago, but it didn't let her milk. And then she's expected to give 31.5 pounds of milk in this milking, which is, for us, is a pretty ideal number. I like to see him get milked at that 30 to 35 pound range. It seems to be the most efficient between treatment time and milk let down, it seems to be the most optimal amount of milk to yield in a milking to have the least amount of box time. So that's just some cool stuff that you can see on this screen here. But yeah, we'll let her milk and we'll move on to our next task here. What do you think? I'm gonna watch her get milked? Another example of a cow getting milked here. So the robot uses these lasers to detect where the heat is. It'll hopefully attach better than that heifer did. This is a second lactation cow. Obviously you can tell that she's a little more calm. It definitely didn't help that I had the lights on in that robot room over there. That probably bothered that half a little bit. There's something a little different. And the biggest thing with cows is they don't like any changes in their routine. But this cow is milking. She is a relatively fresh cow. I don't know what her number is. I'll go take a gander at it. Um, 53.16. She is she's about mm, two weeks fresh, I believe, if I remember right. But yeah. They're getting grain. We feed a PMR in our barn. It's a partial mix ratio. We got some canola and some steam flake corn and some beans and whatnot in there. And then in the bunk we feed, it's basically a TMR except we got energy pulled out of it to put in the robots. So they're getting a piece of their diet in the robots and that's to also help them drive to get milked more so next thing here it's a little earlier than normal but I figure as long as I'm in the barn I might as well just start my chores here but we're going to make a fetch list of the cows that we are going to milk tonight um, 
right here I have this piece of paper. These are fresh cows slash cows that just aren't coming to the robots, just slash cows that we need to make sure are still going to make sure they make it to dry off. But we're going to look on the computer here and I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do when I open this up, this is our horizon. This is showing us everything that the robots in the herd are doing. I like to just look at our production. We're at 89 pound cow per day, two day, this moment. Then kind of just holding on that line. See we had 90 pounds back there. I like to keep it up right at 90 pounds, but cows just like to keep it. Just like 89.9, I'll come in here sometimes. 2.7 visits really doesn't seem like like if we had 2.8 like we did here on March 31st we um we don't seem to really bump up on milk production I think 2.7 2.8 visits a day is kind of where we're maxing out on our milk production but not complaining definitely good numbers to be looking at so next thing we got our four pens one four five and six we got them numbered and our one cows, that's a 60 cow group. Our four cows, that's our heifer pen. That's got a jersey stall in there. And then five and six, those are 120 cow groups. So first thing, I always start with pen one, collect cows. And um, grab myself a pen and a piece of paper so I can write them down. So looking here, we got this 47.83, she's up top of the list, 22 hours out. Now looking here, we got her day production, 19.6 pounds, which is not very good, but she's 360 days in lactation and she is pregnant 211 days. So she is very close to dry off for those that don't know calving interval or not calving interval but days carrying a calf is something like 280 282 i believe it is so obviously we want them to have a dry period too so cows like this we'll leave them go out a little longer if they want to get milked once a day that's that's fine by us they don't need to be pushed through a robot that many times so i don't see anybody here other than her that we need to fetch. So we'll look up. We have a couple cows that we need to look up to make sure that they're coming. This one's a fresh cow. We're gonna look at her visits. And she came at 10.41 a.m. That's good. So we don't need to fetch her. And then we got this 49.99. She never comes, she's never, she's come twice in her entire life. But we keep her around. She's a beautiful cow. Look at her lactation. She's she's not bad. This lactation averaging 117 so far. Her um, this looks goofed up, but I'm guessing this is this is her second lactation. She averaged 93.9, and her first as a heifer she averaged 77.8. So definitely a pretty good cow. So we'll put her on the list. Cows to go get. We are going to now go back to our dashboard, let it load, and go to pen four. Quite a bunch of cows in here. See there's failures here, so you can tell that some of these cows were trying to get milked, and as you saw at the beginning of this video that there was connection problems in that robot four, so I'm not super worried about her. She, um, go to visits here. Okay. Maybe I should be a little worried about her. 5576. I'm going to fetch her. She's having some connection problems. So, write her down. And I see that she's had a lot of other issues here along the way. So, we're just going to put her into routing, I believe. We'll look at her daily. So yeah, she was given 60 some pounds of milk. Now she's got some issues connecting. 
So we'll just put her in routing and make sure that she gets watched. So we got her wrote down, these 13 hour cows, longer lactation days, not really worried about them. We'll look up our fresh cows here now. So this 56, 45, she's 19 days fresh. Go back to visits here. She came this morning when we fetched. So we'll have to write her down. This 56, 46, she came at 10 a.m. So she came, that was the first time I think she's come on her own. But that's good, so we'll mark her down that she came and we'll leave her tonight and see what she does tomorrow. 5653, <clears throat> excuse me, she came at 623 a.m. That means we fetched her. Write her down. A couple more here. She came at 5. 56 a.m. She's a fetch cow. And one more in this pen. 55, 58. And she came at 2.38 a.m. So she was not fetched by us this morning, but she's getting fetched by us tonight. So go back to our dashboard again. Check out pen five. She's got a failure. She's a tail ender. I'll put her on the list, but I'm gonna guess that she's gonna go on her own. I think she'll be all right. And then six, none are really long, but we'll do 52, 38. She came at a little after noon, 53, 16. She was the one actually in the video. She came at 221. That's funny. So she came on her own. 27.15, she never comes, and 48.83, she did not come either. So overall we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 cows out of 360 cows need to be fetched today, and really Personally, I don't really count these heifers as fetch cows. They're just, I don't know, it's our first lactation. They're still learning what's going on. Like you saw in that video, that was a relatively fresh cow that went in that robot four after we checked it out after those failed milkings. So there's really only three cows that we had to fetch today that just didn't come. So. I think our cows are doing pretty good here. So yeah, we're gonna go head out and fetch them now. So we got our list, we got a pen. We're in a pen. It's time to go find our cows. So first up on the list, we got 49.99. She is a pen one cow. It is one of our smaller pens, I tend to put more of our slower cows in here just because it's a smaller pen for them to walk. But yeah, she should be pretty easy to find here. So she probably don't stick out crazy to you, but to me, she's always ready to rock and roll. It's really not, she fetches herself, she's just a pet. <laughs> Come on, Tootsie. Get you back out of there please for me. Come on. She's honestly probably my favorite cow on the farm. She's so nosy. We actually, a couple years ago, we were talking about putting robotic feeders in. 
So instead of robotic feeders, we just put her in a pen with like eight calves and she fed them all for a couple weeks until we decided that it was probably more work than it was worth. But it was kind of a big push back then. That was like two years ago. It have been two years ago, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk her on down to the robot down there and get her milking. There she goes. One down, like, I don't remember how many I said. Eight more to go. This is another tricky thing. So that 76, that 91, that one we don't need. So we need two of these, two, these four cows that are in here. So it's not like they're not catching on. I think they'll get her here soon, but as soon as you come here, then they all decide that they don't want to be in the pen anymore. Hi, girl. So I haven't started walking around the pen yet, but we got three, so that means there's only two to go. So I'm thinking I'm just going to leave this gate locked up so no extra try to go in there and they don't try to get away. Good job. So you might notice that that last cow that walked in here, she looks pretty dirty. She is pretty dirty. She um, she was raised most of her life in the steer barn. Ouch. She was raised most of her life in the steer barn because back, I assume when she was breeding age, she was considered a free martin or couldn't get bred. And then obviously she got bred over there. So she's a little bit of a late breeder, but that's why she looks so dirty. She was in bedding pack versus being in free stalls. 99, what are you supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be getting milked. Come on, Tootsie. You just want to snuggle? Such a good snuggler. Really good snuggler. Here, show them what you're eating. That stuff good or what? It's delicious. Delicious, huh? No? You gonna go get milk now or what? Excuse me. You can't ignore me. It's not nice to ignore me. Then you're getting schlabber on me. Okay. It's time to go. Sound good? Get your schlabber back. You're such a... She's got a pain in the butt, you know that? All right. Let's go, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. Go. Go get go. Come on. Go. Just needs a little extra encouragement. Otherwise, she's she's just fine. We're looking for our last cow now. That 48.83. We got 27.15 is walking that direction. But here's that 53.16. If I got all my numbers, and that was her. That was her. She was the one that was milk at the beginning of the video. That was I don't know, probably half hour, 40 minutes ago or so. She's mooing at you. Yeah, she's relaxing. Probably got a bite to eat already and just chilling now. The uh, cows are all fetched up. Oh girl, slow her down. Now we're in our, what we call special needs pen. We got two cows in here that have issues with connection. She's uh, got a little bit of a goofy bag in the back and the other one's got a short teat that they both need little bit of help with connection and then we got a fresh cow over here just fresh in this morning and we got one mastitis cow and she is a right rear quarter treat and she seems to be coming around good she um i pulled her two days ago and i think she'll be back in full swing in probably four or five days i'd say Here's one of the very few downsides to the robot is um, 
This one's got a teeth that hangs up a little high. It um, just can't seem to read that one. So every morning and night we come in here and just connect that one teeth. Nothing else we gotta do with her, but she's just in this pen because of that. And she produces a lot of milk. I don't know exactly at the moment, but she's a good producer. Can't just get rid of her because she's got a goofy bag, so. Just keep them here. There's two of them we gotta give a hand to. But you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So that's basically it for cow chores here. We gotta take care of that fresh cow. We'll get her mapped and get her in the rotation. And we gotta finish up washing these robots. Obviously we have four done, you guys saw that. But we'll carry on with our day after that and get out of these cow's hair. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe if you wanna see some more.